The world's greatest valentine. Chapter 8. Patrick sat, rubbed his pink chin thoughtfully, and turned to look at Spongebob. I've been thinking, Patrick said in a monotone voice. At first, a handshake doesn't seem like much, but really, it's the thought that counts. A tall pink eel slithered up to the bench. She was holding a large, heart-shaped box. Hey, Spongebob, I just wanted to thank you for this lovely box of chocolates. Spongebob smiled at the eel. No problem, Fran. Patrick frowned and then continued to speak. I mean, even though I was expecting more, a green fish with an armful of roses strolled up and waved to Spongebob. Thanks for the roses, Spongebob. Happy Valentine's Day. Spongebob sunk down on the bench. Uh, you too, Dave. Glad you like them. Patrick tightened his jaw muscles and went on. And not that it matters that we've been friends for so long. A blue fish in a yellow dress rode up on a bicycle and stopped next to the bench. She leaned over and said, Hey, Spongebob, thanks for the bike. Spongebob pulled his head down into the collar of his white dress shirt like a turtle disappearing into his shell. The bluefish elbowed Patrick and said, Can you believe this guy? I just met him this morning. As she pedaled away, Patrick continued, So as I was saying, Excuse me, a new voice said, Do you guys have the time? Patrick whirled on the in interloper and grabbed him by the shoulders. Hefting the unlucky guppy over his head, the furious starfish hurled him into the midst of the happy Valentine's ring toss game. Yeah! Patrick cried. Patrick needs love too! Patrick beat his chest like a gorilla and ran down the boardwalk into the midst of the carnival, crying in anger and disappointment. Oh no! This is all my fault! Spongebob cried, chasing after his friend. I've gotta go try and stop him! Oh! Patrick bellowed. Where's my love? Where's the love for Patrick? No one was safe. Not the ticket taker, not the soda pop girl, not even the poor slob wearing the giant red valentine costume and entertaining the kitties. It's an art to have a heart, the costume fish sang. Won't you be mine here in the brine? Yay! The little fishes replied, wiggling their fins. We love you, Hardy! Arr! I defy you, heart man! Patrick screamed, bounding up and scattering the children like scaly bowling pins. Run! It's a monster! The kids cried, fleeing for safety. Patrick ripped the bright red suit off the poor entertainer's shoulders, leaving a confused actor standing in his underwear. A siren began to wail over the carnival loudspeaker system, and announcer warned, Attention everyone! There's a chubby pink starfish on the loose! The panic was on. Everyone ran for the exits. No one wanted to cross an angry starfish, especially one that had undergone such a terrible transformation. Patrick's color had changed from pink to purple, and his eyes were bloodshot, pumped up with anger and disappointment. He was now ten times as strong as the average starfish. He was also ten times as angry. Unhappy Valentine's Day, everyone! Patrick yelled as he ran toward the swing for two ride. There were dozens of pairs of swings attached to a tall red and white striped pole, and perched on the top was a giant blinking red heart. Hard on stick must die! Patrick snarled. He wrapped his arms around the base of the pole and strained with all his might to pull it up from the ground. Stay tuned for chapter 9 coming up soon.